This September marks the 50th anniversary of Ferdinand Marcos Sr.'s Declaration of Martial Law. This series, we are calling it The Memory Project, hopes to keep alive the testimonies of thousands of human rights victims under the dictator's military rule. What you're about to hear is from an affidavit attesting to the ordeal and fate of one such victim. It will be read by one Filipino who pledges to never forget. Please listen. Mabuting makinig. I, Priscilla C. Mejares, Filipino, of legal age, married, and residing at Quezon City, after having been duly sworn to in accordance with law, depose and say, 1. That I am the wife of the missing newspaper man Primitivo Mejares, who left the country on October 23, 1974, issued his defection statement in U.S. on February 5, 1975, published The Conjugal Dictatorship of Ferdinand and Imelda in 1976, also in the U.S. 2. That the missing Primitivo Mijares and I happily had four children, Perla, Pirita, Jose Antonio, and Luis Manuel, all surnamed Mijares. 3. That in January 1977, after the publication of the book Conjugal Dictatorship, my husband was lured into joining Philippine government agents, particularly Kerubin Makalintal, then in the U.S., to come to the Philippines for a visit. 4. That after my husband was lured into coming back to the Philippines, admitted by Kerubin Makalintal in his testimony at CHR and NBI, he was unheard of and could not be located until now. 5. That after my husband's disappearance, my youngest son, Luis Manuel Boyet Mijares, was kidnapped and brutally murdered on the last day of May, 1977. 6. That informations reaching my family were to the effect that during the torture of my son, the father was made to appear by the torturers to witness his son's agony. 7. That the Commission on Human Rights, then under the stewardship of Senator Jose W. Jocno, conducted investigations. However, after his death, the case was never continued. 8. That I am executing this affidavit to apprise the Filipino people of the family's request that justice be done on what may be called a political vendetta involving Primitivo Mijares and his son, Boyet. Signed, Priscilla C. Mijares. Will you also pledge to never forget? And would you like to lend your voice to The Memory Project? Email us at tekateka at pumapodcast.com and we will send you an affidavit that you can record, a testimony you can help keep alive. In the meantime, if you appreciated this episode, please share it with a friend. Mabuting makinig, lalo na kung sama-sama tayo. Tulong-tulong tayo to remember and never forget.